A prominent journalist, Jackson Ude, has alleged that Remy Tinubu, the wife of President Wola Tinubu, is placing blame on Shetima for her husband's deteriorating health conditions. Ude has gone further by revealing that Ulu Remy accused the vice president of employing marabouts, practitioners of Islamic spiritual healing, to pray and conduct animal sacrifices in an effort to maintain Tinubu's incapacitated state. President Tinubu's head has been a matter of increasing concern since his return to Nigeria and he has remained absent from the public eye. A confidential source shared with Jackson Ude that Tinubu is, is currently experiencing a state of health to severe that he requires assistance with tasks as basic as dressing himself. The insider has convened that Remy Tinubu was made aware of the reasons behind her husband's persistent illness. According to Ude's reports, Shetima has engaged marabouts who have been conducting prayers aimed at keeping Tinubu incapacitated to potentially pave the way for Shetima to assume a more prominent role in Nigerian politics. In an even more astonishing revelation, an insider within Asuro, the Nigeria presidential complex has disclosed that Shetima has purportedly dispatched over 200 marabouts to Saudi Arabia. These marabouts have been entrusted with the task of intensifying their prayers and spiritual rituals to further influence the president's health condition. Such a claim, if substantiated, would underscore the extent to which political rivals can go to shape the power dynamics within the nation. The ongoing alleged illness of President Tinubu has raised questions regarding his ability to fulfill his presidential duties, including attending the Federal Executive Council fake meetings. Reports suggest that it remains unconfirmed whether he can participate in the scheduled F uh, fake meeting uh, today, further deepening the intrigue surrounding his health and the implications for the nation's leadership. The picture circulating of Tinubu in the meeting with George Akumi has been viewed with skepticism, as allegations suggest that it could be a smooth screen concealing the true nature of his health and the potential political machinations at play. Well, yes, Remy Tinubu is blaming a desperate Ibrahim Shetima for her husband worsening health conditions, accusing the VP of using marabouts to pray and offer animal sacrifices to make her husband incapacitated. Tinumbu has been seriously sick since his return to Nigeria and has not been seen in public. In fact, an insider, an insider told me he's unable to dress himself without help. This is coming from a Jackson Ude. The insider told me that Remy was informed that the reason her husband has remained sick is largely due to Shetima's use of Marabat who launched prayers against Tinubu so he remained incapacitated so he can take over. Shetima, according to an Asu Rock insider, has recently sent over 200 Marabats to Saudi Arabia where the prayers are to be intensified. Tinubu remains sick and it is not confirmed if he can attend the fake meeting. A picture of him with George Akumi was a small screen. Mm. Yeah, the use of a Spiritual practices and prayer to influence political outcomes reflect the high stage stakes and fierce competition that characterizes policies in the nation. As the nation awaits further developments and clarifications regarding President Sinumbu's health and the allegations of spiritual interference, the urgency of transparency and open communication within the political sphere becomes increasingly evident. In a democratic society, the public has the right to be informed about the health and capabilities of its leaders. These allegations only heighten the need for accountability and transparency at all levels of government and politics. You know, when I saw this, I said, hmm, this would be. Now, now they know everything. But one thing is that uh, when you hear that uh, from inner source, don't Forget that majority of the people who are always around these people, all these politicians, majority of them are not truthful to them. Like one of the videos that uh, is going viral, circulating the internet, 
you see those when uh, this guy what was his name wicked cooking and all of that when you see people laugh and it's what they are just laughing they are laugh no reach their belly they are enemies within them so now i believe that most of the people are the ones that will come and leak the secrets of all these things happening that you thought that oh these guys are supposed to be keeping this this kind of a thing that they will not want the public to know keeping these secrets but that is not the issue so i was just like ah, where is this a jackson who they getting this whole thing from really that is another thing i'm just trying to lay that foundation that that the same people who are always saying oh i'm loyal to you your excellency the same people are the ones that will most of the time leak the secrets of what is happening to the public and you have a an insider and again and i didn't want to i was just kind of skeptical with this uh, information but on another thought another way uh, whatever thought again i remember this journalist Ruben Marabati, has been one crying out that where's tinumbu where's tinumbu where's tinumbu that he have they have not been seeing him in the public some people say oh he's so ashamed of a uh, this uh, revelation that came out recently about this uh, certificate forgery you know a lot of things like that like that like that but all these things you would think that uh, they are just rumors they are just mere propaganda but because there is already a foundation when it comes to the earth of Tinubu, there's something on ground before. So, irrespective of no matter how they want to hide it, it will still be made open. No matter what. Hmm. I see the Northerners taking control of the presidential seat once again. Should Tinubu kick the buckets to, or resign from the presidency? We wish him speedy recovery. Who and who wish him speedy recovery? What is my business with Tinubu capabilities and incapability? My problem now is that I am hungry and I need food. If prayers and ritual sacrifices can work for one, then prayer and fasting will work better. It is still fresh in my memory how Elijah defeated the gods of Ba at Mount Carmel. Let the battle land be drawn. Then we will know the God that answers prayers. It's, and again, I was just like, hey, why am I a pastor now? So, you know, if you pray for your husband, now she see my they pray for the husband or arrange people. Well, Tinubu himself is a Muslim, so I don't think he believes in all of that. The woman is doing her own. The same way they came into Aisha Buhari, some people they call Kaaba and they were able to take her out. When the man was sick, everybody was like, The woman, this woman was not always going with her husband to the hospital. Mm. Well, any any yah we go see within the shell we go see him. He go must come out now, not today. <laughs> no be today. No be today. So guys, uh, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this matter. Thank you.